Hello and welcome to the season debut of the Class C Division of the Atlantic Kennelpin Singles Tour coming to you today live from Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm Paul Grant, thrilled to be with you. 32 teams in the new C Division this year. Anthony Karen, the treasurer this year, and a veteran bowler. I call you Anthony 155 Lanes Karen. Tell us the reason why we get that nickname. Uh, I got to, uh, two weeks ago I went to um, Albany and I bowled at uh, Apex and the same center in Albany. That was my 155th in Kennelpin bowling out of that bowling. Is that a record? I have no way to confirm it. I would guess that Phil Clough is probably pretty close, but I don't think he keeps track. But I have no, no one who has more than that for a fact. So you can't do a family tree in that, I guess, huh? No. Most people don't keep track like I do. Tell us about last season. You had a difficult season. You didn't make the playoffs. You were a great bowler in your heyday, obviously, in your 20s and 30s. Now you're 51. What are you working on to improve your game, and what, what are you trying, hoping to get accomplished this season? Yeah, my game went downhill a lot after I turned 40. Um, I gave up with arthritis in my left knee, and I had to completely change my approach. When I first did that, my average went down a little bit, but now it's time to come back a little. So I'm just trying to slow down and concentrate on my aiming point and see how it goes. And how's the back feeling? Oh, my back's fine. That was just an issue with COVID they had like nine months ago. It was just a couple of weeks, and then it was gone. Now, you changed your approach last season, I believe, the step approach. And that was from Phil Clef, was it, told you to change that? Uh, he told me to stay down. I've had mixed results with that. The, um, the reason I changed my approach is because of the arthritis in my knee. I pretty much had to change it because I was taking too long of an approach. I basically cut it in half. I only take three steps now, and, and that's definitely helped with my stamina. And you're going to take on Casey McCool today. He's had your number, huh? You I can I cannot be Casey at Steer Time Lanes. He's my double partner in a lot of tournaments, and he, for some reason, that house he has my number. So you're glad you're bowling here in Manchester? I'm glad huh? this match is my last time. Yes. All right, good luck today, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. Let's bring in Casey McCool, the home bowler today. Anthony Karen, Casey McCool, Casey. Nice to see you again. You We've too, seen Paul. you both the Campus for Cancer roll up here uh, next week, starting Tuesday and Thursday yeah. next weekend. Uh, tell us about your game. You got your mother here in attendance. Tell us about your mother. She's um. She's been an inspiration to me ever since I was a little kid. Ever since I was three years old, I always wanted to do candlepin bowling. You know, it was a great sport, and I just love doing it every day I can. Was she a bowler, too? Yes, she was. She was on the Tuesday night women's league on Tuesday mornings. I used to come with her all the time when I was um, going to school or whatever. But sometimes I would ask her, Mom, can I go to bowling with you today? And she's like, okay, we'll miss school this day. And I just love going to, her, to the leagues with her all the time. Now, during her prime... Would, you, would she beat you head to head? Um, probably, yeah. She would probably beat me in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you working on to improve your game, Casey? I'm trying to slow my backswing down a little more. That's what I need to work how on. How do you How do you know when you're not doing that? How do you catch on? When I'm throwing the ball really too fast. Yeah. My friends tell me you got to slow your ball down. It's not about accuracy. It's about speed. You know, you can't throw the ball so fast because that's why you don't get, you know, pinfalls in that you don't get um the great pin action or anything like that so you got to slow the ball down all right good luck today thank you Paul. so it's season one of the acst c division this is division four matchup between anthony karen and casey mccool get away now from lakeside lanes manchester new hampshire also on the canopy bowling network it's a five string format five blocks at a time two points for a win one for a tie four for total first of 18 weeks typically bowl twice a month Nine month season, top eight go to the playoffs. What's going away now? Anthony Karen will lead off on lane 15 here from Manchester at Lakeside Lanes. Again, this Tuesday and Thursday, the 6th and 8th September, Candle Pitch for Cancer, qualifying round start 11 a.m. And Saturday and Sunday, the 10th and 11th, 11 and 2. Register at Candlepins number 4 cancer.com to sign up. Candlepins number 4 cancer.com up to a potential $2,000 first place prize. Top five go to the TV taping and Portsmouth Bowl Rama, September 25th. Candlepins for Cancer.com. Candlepins number four. Cancer.com to register. $80 entry fee. No limit of entries. Season underway. Anthony Karen has the one, three, and the six. Three pinners go for Pro Bowl is about 51%. Low 40s for bowlers under Pro Division. Not the object pin, but leaves up the three and the six. First of five strings underway. Nine to start the match. Anthony just turned 51 on May 28th. Had a 99 average last year, battling COVID and injuries. 
I, ACST high single was 148 two years ago, and a 359 high three, and a 571 two seasons ago. Last year was more of an anomaly. Right in the pocket has the diamond. For pro balls, they go about 27%. Upper teens to low 20s for semi pro bowlers. One for two in the head pin so far. For a spare, no. Diamond is a very difficult shot. Anthony from Manchester, New Hampshire, his whole life. Married with one son, works for the U.S. Post Office. Got a bunch of postal workers here. Kevin Dietrich, Chris Winniars, 7, 16 through 2. We'll put the scores on the screen every five boxes. Thank you for watching the Atlantic Candle Pin Singles Tour. Thanks to Danny Finn doing an amazing job running this league. Where's the Ewing last season helping out? Caitlin Finn, thank you for all that. And Caitlin Finn bowls this year also. Sharon Britton joined the ACS team. We also have out of here, Manchester, New Hampshire, Lakeside Lanes, Faye Sawyer. We'll be seeing her here on the 22nd and 29th, Thursday night, on Atlanta Caliphon Singles Tour page. And what a tough lead this is. The 1, 3, 4, 7 to the left, 10 to the right. First straight. Got a big money match tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. We'll talk about that in just a moment. An ACST match on Saturday. First of six straight days of broadcast on my end. Oh, what a try. Andre Pin. That looked better than he got. That's the three in the middle, the four to the left, the ten to the right. Heck of a bid. The veteran bowler. Andre Pin again, just an eight. 24 through 3. Nine. So 4 for 6 in his object pin so far. Just a very humble guy, very nice guy. Just 4 that time. 4 has been right, the 1, 3, 6, 10. Has the 4 and the 7 on the left. No wood. This is 2.7 pound bowling balls. Both with Casey McCool in the same division. Eric Halley Jr. we'll see later this month. And Brian Hebert as well. And again, he's like at the 3, 7, and 10. Trying to get back on track this year. Time it's a seven. 31 through four in the first of five for Manchester. The home of the Candle Pits for Cancer Roll Off is starting next Tuesday. Tomorrow night, a live broadcast. Riverwalk Lanes. APM and Candle Pit Bowling Network. Three time champions, Eric Kelly Sr., Dean Sullivan, the Angels Wonder. And former three time champions, Rob Brown and Mark 519 Richie. Subscribe free on YouTube, the Candle Pit Bowling Network. Oh, this nice ball of a Karen has the four and seven. His best leap so far. Dean Sullivan, very underrated, great bowler. We'll see him uh, Monday on Labor Day also. Missed it to the left. Want to go a little more to the right. Missed opportunity. Not happy with himself there. Open half. Casey McCool has had his number at spare time, but now you know, he's doing home cooking here. And he gets a 9 for a disappointing 40 half to start the season. Deserved a lot better, but funny game. Here's Casey McCool, mother in attendance here. Thank you for watching the great game of Canlip and Bowling. Tell your friends and family to join a league. Get involved. As Tom Olsen said, practice, practice, practice. Join a league. Bowl as many tournaments as you can. Casey McCool off to the right. Gets a break. Has the 1, 2, the piece of wood behind. 6-10 on the right. For a spare, it looks good. What a try, almost. Left up the six pin. He says 2.6 pound poker bowling balls. He gets a nine to start. We're tied in the first of five. Up against a 40 half. Two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. He's a one-on-one league average. 
overall, just 97 last year, an off year. Pulled 106, though, in recent summer league. So he's been red hot of late. Hooks it just off to the right of the head pin. Has the one, two, and the seven. His high single, 165. Just the head pin. Had a 145 last year, and he got a 165 after that. High triple of 400 even. High five of 658, and a high 10 of 1215. He gets a nine. Takes a two-pin lead, 18 to 16, in the first of five. Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour, brand new C division. 32 teams, north and south, 16 team conferences, the top eight of the playoffs. First of 18 weeks. Goes right again, has a break, has the one, two, and the four. For Pro Bowl, as these go about 51%, the stats provided by Candlepin Bowling Network. And again, missed the head pin. But he increases his lead up against Nate Box. Casey from Derry, New Hampshire, his whole life. He's his home lanes, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. It's a nine. 27 through three, playing poker, three nines. Has a three pin lead, 27 24. Up against a 40 half. He'll be turning 32 this month on September 21st. That's a beautiful ball there, but a little full. And that pin was better outstanding. The ugly lead, look at this one. Three, seven, eight, ten. Three pieces of wood to work with. And too far right. Three, seven, eight left up. Bowling since he was three years old. Just pulls him one lead. And he gets the short two for nine, maybe a ten. He takes it. Pretty out. Up against a seven box, 37 through four. Good pinning. Six pin lead. He's a big fan of Jeff Surrett and Hall of Famer Paul Berger. Paul Berger threw a 500 on Channel 5. 193 string, nine marks in a row. You can watch it on Alley Chat. Tough piece of wood in front of the four and seven. And missed it. So both bowls open. It's pinning really well, though. And right on for a 10. And a 47 half without a mark. He takes a seven pin lead in the first of five from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. You watch the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class C Division, all going to be live. Switch over now to lane 16. Anthony Cannon trying to bounce back with his 40 half. Goes right, has the 1, 4, 7, 9, and 10, one piece of wood behind the head pin. Over 70 wow shirts have been sold for Candlepins for Cancer. Every wow shirt sold, $10 goes to Candlepins for Cancer. Every $1,000 helps support a family member suffering chemo radiation treatment. So that's why you want to support Candlepins for Cancer. Candlepins for Cancer.com. Candlepins number for Cancer.com. If you'd like to donate, please do so again. Candlepins number for Cancer.com. Anthea 10. First 10 blocks to the match, 50 through 6. These are the qualifying rounds here starting Tuesday here at Lakeside Lanes. First of five qualifying rounds of the season. 11 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday, the 6th and 8th. Saturday and Sunday, 10th and 11th, 11 and 2. $80 entry fee. Please register at or for cancer.com. And live show in just a moment. Very nice ball. 8 has the 2 and the 4. The live show will be September 25th, top 5. At Bowl of Rama in Ports of New Hampshire. On Canopy Bowling Network. $80 entry fee. We'll have some live streaming also, except for Saturday. We got the women's double event that day on the 10th. So we live streaming Tuesday and Thursday here and on Sunday. Hooked it. Oh, we'll come back. Steal it. We'll steal it. Yes, you got to steal it. Wow. Anthony raises the flag. His first mark of the match. 16 of ball through 7. Anywhere they fall. What is it? Stand up and put his spell down. Hey. 
an average of 102 in the summer league, so both bowlers bowling really well in the summer league. On the spare, goes right again, just four. 64 through seven, the first of five for Manchester, New Hampshire. Lakeside Lanes, great place to bowl. 24 lanes. Tim Lipke runs it here. Just off to the right. These are the parallel pins plus the four pins to the left. One five to the right. In the middle is the two and the eight. Anthony's high single, 195. He was a beast in his day. Nice out for nine, 73 through eight. Anthony's high triple, 442. Has a high five of 696. His high 10 is 1306. High 20, 2271. Hello to Justin Kochi watching. And all you watching. Nice ball, nine. Boy, pin left up. A couple of good balls he's thrown this half. Needs a mark for 100. Tom Wolstow is his favorite bowler. And he gets a spare right on it. Second spare in the last three boxes. 83 and a ball through nine. His mother signed him up for a kid's league when he was eight years old. Another tough slip, bad fill, just three. Four and three fills. 86 through nine. Those can crush your spirit sometimes as a bowler. Been there, done that. This would be something. Paul Grant shot right in the middle. He's going to cool up next at 47 half up seven halfway through the first string. Two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. First 18 week season. And a tough three blocks. Yikes. Spare 3 3. 89 first string. Gets that one out of the system. Bounce back and show next string. Case McCool. Great chance to take the first two points and build a lead in the total. Just needs 43 to win the string. And he gets the four spin left, the one, two, four, seven, and Millis. We call this the Kamarowski special after Rick Kamarowski, the 68 year old veteran. We made a living off that shot and we used to put a dollar in the pool in our league we've all together on Friday night. Millis, Friday night Vicks League and raised $48 for our banquet that year for our team alone on Washington Leaves. So I call it the Kamarowski special. So next time you see Rick Kamarowski, say, hey, Rick, I made the Kamarowski special for Horseman. You get a kick out of it. Ten for Casey McCool. Three tens in a row after three nines to start. 57 through six. That is a good sign. Seven pin lead in the string. 33 in the next four to take the first two points. Four more strings after this. Season debut for Manchester. Got away that time. Got a break. Steals five, six. Has a check mark at the center. The three pins to the right, the head pin in the middle, the two and the four to the left. Nice shot for a spare, almost. Anthony with two spares, only 89. A couple of seven boxes and a three box killed him. Spare fills a four and three. The string without a mark. He gets a nine. 66 through seven of two in the string. He's up against a nine spare three and three. So just 24 next three to take the first two. Shout out to the main ACST. They had 15 teams. Stephen Ashley joined last minute. 16 teams in the north. And in Belfast, they all play last night. Stephen Ashley's first time bowling the ACST. 16 years old. 
shot of a double strike and a 152 in his first string. That's on Atlanta Kennel Fence Singles to our Facebook page with no announcer. If you watch the video, if you'd like. And then Paul Dyer, the owner of the ball, ball play, in his third string to a 178 against Mark Weber. 179 is the house record there. He's missed that one. That's in the same match. He did that against uh, Christy Apper. Oh, another good shot. Wouldn't go for the Forceman. One thousand eight matches this season between Maine, A, C, A, B, and C class division this year. One thousand eight matches. Way to go, Danny Finn. And Matt Huff running up in Maine and Mark Weber. Great job to Matt and Mark. Casey up 75-73 in the first of five. Up two in the string. He's up against a spare three and a three. And he's 15 pins to take the first two. And makes it easier there. Gets a wobbling one, two, and four. In good shape here with two points. And still can't get a mark. Doesn't need one, necessarily. That's what you got to do. You're not getting marks. You got to just pin well. That one got away from him. He has all nines and all tens so far in the string. He's up. He's actually down two in the string, but he's up against a three box. So just six pins to win. First time he's trailed in the match. But Anthony, the tough spare three in a three box. And right now we're tied in the string with that five. He needs one pin the next two balls to win the two points. We'd like to get more and build a little cushion. And there it is. He's got the first two points of the season. The good news for Anthony, it could have been a lot worse than the deficit. Casey an open string with a phenomenal pinning. And he gets in his first eight box and ends up with a 92, a low scoring affair. Yeah. 92 without a mark. Anthony Karen loses by three, 92 89 with two marks. Funny game. All with you live on Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour and Canopin Bowling Network. You can subscribe free on YouTube to Canopin Bowling Network. And watch hundreds of videos. The Tom Holtz to Peter Flynn match this Sunday, past Sunday. And there's the recap of the first round. Casey gets that first check mark. Two points. 14 points on the line. Anthony Karen starts with second string to go back to lane 15 as a clip wing eagle. <laughs> Anthony has thrown 25 400 games in his career and 16 triple strikes. And again, in the middle, 25 400 games. Obviously, that's like Craig Holbrook type, from well over a thousand. 16 triple strikes for Anthony Cameron in his career. You said he's much better bowled in his 20s and 30s. Object pin, going to shoot for seven. It's down three in the match coming into the second string. In 1989, Anthony Karen won an amateur canopin tour title at the age of just 18, the first time he tried out. Two years later, in 1991, he won the final amateur canopin tour Super Bowl he ever had. He did it again. It's a reverse triangle. The five to the right, good piece of wood. The eight in the back in the middle, and the four pin to the left. Looking for his third mark of the match. How often do you outmark somebody in the string and lose? And won't go, good try. It's made 12 appearances on King of the Palace. Won two ladders, one in 2015. We had to hoist the, they got to hoist the first ever championship belt. We also won again in 2017. 10, 17 through two in the second of five. Now 
want to remind our viewers that the Kennel for Cancer qualifying round will start this Tuesday here at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Details coming up in just a moment. Anthony Carrick, second block, second string. It's a break as the 1, 3, and the 6th Tuesday. Coming up September 6th, 11 a.m. and Thursday, September 8th, 11 a.m. And Saturday and Sunday, two shifts, 10, 10th and 11th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. At Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. More information in just a moment. Those are the times. And Anthony got away. This opportunity. Register at Kittlepins number 4 cancer.com. That's Kittlepins number 4 cancer.com. Or just show up. $80 entry fee. Multiple entries allowed. Top 5 the TV show. 8 box there. Top 5 the TV show. That'll be a Ports of Ball Rama and Sunday, September 25th. Potential $2,000 first place prize. Prize money based on entry fees. 20 people bowl. Anthony Karen, two tens, 27 through 3. A correction eight box there, 25 through 3. Half West Drive, my least favorite shot. So again, that's KennelPinsForCancer.com for the four. Tuesday and Thursday, 11 o'clock. Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Eighty dollar entry fee. Panel pins number four. Kids If you can't bowl, you can uh, donate to the charity. Tell families struggling with Panel pin bowlers family struggling with chemo radiation treatments. Top five again. September twenty fifth. Points of Bolarama. Panel pins number four. Cancer.com. Or donate if you can't bowl, please. Anthony for big out. Six thirty one through four. Matching his first string. He could have won that first string. He had a spare three in the ninth, but got a three box. Case McCool, without a mark, outpinned him. 92. So what if I three? Raise the head pin as a triangle. That's four, seven, eight. A couple pieces of wood in the middle, and it's the 10 pin to the right. Probably go red line or to the left of the red line. I would think. I'm no Justin Scally. He capped it instead. Want to go a little more right and only got one as the 4 7 and the 10. Another disappointing start. And you got to wonder is Casey be cool in his head because he's beaten him a lot. Spare time from Whitensville. Seven. It's the 38 half. 40 half in the first, 38 half here in the second. And once again, we'll be facing uphill battle in the second half. Casey McCool, great pinning that first string. Look at those marks. Scores. Not a high score, but look at the pinning. Just needing that 10 blocks to win it by three. And he's up against the 38 half from Anthony Karen. Goes to the right, gets three. Thank you for those watching today live on Facebook. Oh, the spare for Casey. His first mark of the match. Thank you for all you watching on Atlanta Canopin Simulus Toy Facebook page and on the Canopin Bowling Network replacing Spread Eagle Productions. You can subscribe free on YouTube to Canopin Bowling Network. That's Canopin Bowling Network. You can subscribe. It's free. The home of Candle Pins for Cancer, Season 2. Beautiful ball, the spare, 9! His mother thought it was a strike. 19 after 1, up 12 with a strike, 15 in the match. It's his least favorite pin, he says, 10, 10 pin. And he got it with the wood! Full shot with Minnesota Fats there. 29 of the ball through 2. What a start here in the second of 5 from Manchester. 15 pin lead in the match plus this bonus ball. Anthony needs to settle now when he goes up next. Crosses over, seven, triangle. Five to the left, the three six to the right. 36 through two up, 19 in the string, 22 in the match, but that one got away. 
opposite an eight box in the 38 half. He's already got the lead in half. Anything else here is Braden, the total. 44 through 3. 19 pin lead in the string, 22 in the match. A great match tomorrow night, the Riverwalk Money Match, 8 p.m. on Cannibal Bowling Network 5. Three time defending champions, Eric Kelly Sr. and Dean Sullivan. Just a moment. Head pin, clip we ain't. Dean Sullivan, a great bowler, Eric Kelly Sr. Take on former three time champions, Rob Brown and Mark. 519 Richie is high triple, a record 519. Subscribe free on YouTube, the Kennel Ball Network. Just missed the object pin there. So again, that's 8 o'clock tomorrow night live on Kennel Ball Network. Eric Kelly Sr., Dean, Dean Sullivan against Mark Ritchie, Rob Brown. 7 for Casey, cool. 51 through 4, 20 in the string, 23 in the match. The Thomas and Peter Flynn match raised over fifteen hundred dollars for Campus for Cancel last summer. Oh, nice ball, nine. Seven pin left up. Great piece of wood to help. Feeling it here in the second. Look at his third mark, and he's got it. Sixty-one half plus the ball. Casey is McCool. Sixty-one plus the ball, twenty-three in the string, twenty-four in the match. Plus a bonus ball. Anthony Karen will try to rebound. Paul Grinty live. Season one of the ACST C Division. Anthony Karen versus Casey McCool from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. We'll see Faye Sawyer here again on the 22nd and 29th. Fine young woman bowls in the game today. Very classy lady. Just off to the right. Chopped off the head pin. Had the post. And he's talking to himself. Disappointing eating now at two marks. Lost by three in the first. Down big here in the second. And this dead pin gets a seven. 45 through six. Three seven boxes in the string. He had two in the first and a three box, plus a spare four and a spare three. Got away to the right. Steals a couple as a parallel up into the middle. The one five three nine and the seven to the left. Three pieces of wood, one behind the parallel pins. Should help drive it to the seven pin. You can hit it perfectly. Just off by a speck. Frustration on his face. One, three, and the seven. Now you start, it's how you finish. He's going to throw some big strings last year in the ACST. Cover him several times. He gets a nine that time. 54 through 7. So if it gets a 50, 61 plus 1 half, we'd love to mark out here. Keep it close. Yeah. 24 lane facility, a lot of leaks here. We'll be at Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, but can't help us for cancer. Season 2, round 1 qualifying rounds. Half was to right. A sarcastic smile on his face. It's so frustrating as a bull when you just can't find your groove, you can't find your rhythm, and you're just all over the place. He's trying to work his way out of it. And that's a Paul Grant shot. In disbelief. Not the way he wanted to start the season. And he gets a six, just sixty through eight in the second of five. Two, three, seven boxes of string, two, six boxes, an eight, a nine, and a ten. That will not get the job done. A 
Right again. Can't find the head bend. That's the one, two, eight, and the nine. Just looking for something positive to happen here the last two boxes. Get some confidence for the third string. Not an easy shot here. Oh, good try. Object pin, but too full. He's up the two and the nine. This is the way it's going. He's getting a mark just to get an 80. Nine, 69 through nine. Keith Smith cool on the first string, 92 to 89 with no marks. Anthony Karen's two. Case with three marks here in the second string. I would love a hammer here or a spare, anything. He's got a chance of the wood, bundle of six. One, five, two, eight, four, seven to the left. A couple of pieces of wood. Atlanta came up in singles to a week one season one of 18 weeks season flexible schedule on twice a month on average Karen missed the object pin again an open string and a sub 80 string yikes that's the one of the seven and it's a nine ugly 78 second string just 167 through two. Casey McCool pouring it on here. He can feel it. 61 half plus one. Still a couple more. Get seven. That's the one, two, and the nine. I give him a 68 half. For a spare, just missed it. He's already pretty much won this thing already with four more boxes to go. Increases lead in total. He gets a nine. So a 68 half, and now 77 through six, two pins in four boxes. Take the first four points. And as a bowler like this is when you want to pour it on and build a great lead. Because Anthony Karen is capable of throwing a 130 or 140. Casey slides it to the right, almost got the head pin as the one, two, and the seven. Throwing a great ball all string. You could tell it was first string. He didn't get a mark, but he had a 92. Just a matter of time. And he's got three spares a nine fill, a seven to start, a seven fill in the fifth. Anthony's going to remove that wood. Has the one in ten left up. So Casey's won the first two strings. And he continues to have Anthony Karen's number. When Casey is not a bowling, he likes to play his Xbox One. Xbox One X system. He likes the GTA five game as he gets a nine. 86 through 7. He's won the string. He's up 32 in the string, 35 in the match. Nice ball in the pocket. And he breaks up the two in the right. Got a break there. Side relief has the seven pin. And he can't do much too much wrong here on that seven box and eight box in the middle. And he gets it right on. He needs the wood. Four spare of the string. 96 in the ball. Through eight. <laughs> On the spare fill. Chest off to the head pin, but he steals a couple more. That's the four, seven, and nine. Another seven fill. That's three seven fills in the string. 103 through eight. Up 43 in the spring, 46 in the match. Who would have thought? 
for another one. Oh, he got it! Wow! A spare! His second one in a row, five in the string. One thirteen of the ball through nine. For the one on one league bowler. This is the C class, folks. A stepping stone to the B division next year and hopefully Class A a couple years from now. I'd like to take it to Penny Champs. You know, Gachana went to four division last year, it's now Class A. Oh, a sharper strike nine! What a bomb that was. 122 through nine. For another one. Oh, just missed it. Thought he had it. Look at curveball, just got away. You don't miss that much and you're feeling that good, but you're nine, but a one thirty-one second string to seventy-eight victory. And he's encouraging Anthony to bounce back. Good sportsmanship and cannibal bowling. 223 to 167. Casey McCool, a dominant second string win and has a cushion in the match. By 58 pins. At the start of third string of five from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester Manchester, Paul Griffey Live. And Anthony bounced back and chip away at the deficit. One thirty-one. Good for Casey. Five spares. All with solid fills. Three seven fills and two nine fills. Baron can't convert. It's the head pin. Ten to start. It's best start so far. Casey. Anthony at 89 and 78 first two strings. Nice ball for strike, yes! Raise the flag! And he finally breaks through. 20 plus two through two here in the third. A five. Good for him. That's our first strike. Be the bowler. Had two spares in the first. I love a double here. Double! For double! That looked good, but it's, it's two and one. You gotta be kidding me. No wood, no luck. Six and nine from the seven to the left. Working on a strike. I'm feeling confident. His first three boxes here in the third. Try to climb out of a big hole. Way right, seven in the strike, 27 through two. From Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Great place to bowl. Decent action tens. Eight, 35 through three. A reminder if you're just tuning in, Candle Pins for Cancer qualifying rounds, season two. Right here at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, this Tuesday and Thursday, 6th and 8th, 11 a.m., and Saturday and Sunday, the 10th and 11th, two shifts, 11 and 2. Register online, Canopins, number 4, Canson.com. Canopins with the number 4, Canson.com. $80 entry fee, melt one is loud. Mr. Ted Finn has a break of the 1, 3, 6, 10, 4 horsemen. Top 5 go to the TV show, live TV show on Canopin Bowling Network on September 25th at Bowl of Honor. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So again, right here in United Manchester, Tuesday and Thursday, the 6th, 8th, 11 a.m., 10th and 11th, 11 and 2. Register at Campins, number 4, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, please donate. Down for spare. Oh, will the wood come back? It's rolling. One cover. Yes. A spare. Finally getting some breaks here in the third. 45 and a ball through four. A smile on his face. Okay, if you cannot bowl, please donate to Candlepins number 4 cancer.com to help support the bowlers in the Candlepin bowling community. It's helping chemo radiation treatments. Anthony Karen, 45 in the ball through 4 in lane 15. Head bends. 
Oh, look at this. Seven, nine, ten. A boatload of wood to help. 52 through 4. Coming up a disappointing 78 string. He can really use this for his confidence. And he got it! Wow! What a sharper spare! There we go. That's more like Anthony Cameron. 62 out plus one. What a turnaround. The nightmare is over here in the third. Casey, a quarter whistle. You gotta be kidding me. And a sarcastic laugh. Casey come up for 131, second string. Nice second ball. In the middle, it's the five and nine corner goal post, seven and ten. Up against a 62 plus one half from the veteran Anthony Karen. And a seven or an eight, eight to start. He's down two in the string. He's at 56 in the match. <laughs> and correction, it's a 56 coming in, so 54 in the match right now. And it's the 3 6 10 on the right, the 4 on the left, and right in the middle. Anthony Karen. To life here in the third. Second eight in a row, 16 through two. He's down 11 in the string. The lead has shrunk to 45. He's against two more spares in this half. So if he can go open, Anthony can pour it on and cut it into the 20s possibly. Casey off to the right has the one, three, I'm sorry, the one, two, and four. One, two, four, and the eight pin behind the two pin. One, two, four, and eight. Going for a spare. You won't get it. That's the one on the nine. Casey on fire in the second. Anthony Karen on fire here in the third. Nine. 25 through three. Gain the pin there. He's down 10 in the string, up 46 in the match. Up against a spare seven and spare. Close right, fourth from left, one, two, four, seven. Shout to Rick Kamrowski on this shot here. Four out of Millis. Natick back today, fairway. Classy guy, hold him for years. Head pin left up. So Anthony Karen gaining some more pins. Oh, you never give up. Way off for a nine. 34 through four. Anthony Karen leads by 18 in the string. Down to 38 in the match. And he's ever gets a spare. I think mean, if put together three more marks, we'd have a whole new game. Only four. Season debut of the Class C division from Manchester Lane, uh, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. All but the head pin. 32 teams, two divisions, north and south. Top eight make the playoffs. Casey, 10. 44 half. So Anthony Karen, right now, on lane 16. <laughs> Working on a spare. <laughs> Trying to cut that deficit down. Possibly into the 20s here with a good fill. On the bonus, that looked good. Just sailed to the right. That's the Kaleri. Five to the, more than the fill. 67 half. Just a 78 last string. Can somebody take a picture for us? Okay. And that time got away. I would have made that in the first half. Okay. 
tough seven that time. 74 through six, halfway through the uh, match. You have 23 in the string, down 33 in the match. Great bounce back here in the third. Two more strings after this. Two points for win, one for tie, four for total. Back in that pin, and he's got the five seven, but he's got a piece of wood to help. Good position. Get the sweeper out, folks. Two balls respect each other greatly. Trying to sweep it and missed it to the right. Missed opportunity. Sometimes you can overthink that and just press a little too hard. And that's the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. 84 through 7, the third of 5. Eighth box, third string from Lakeside Lanes. Anthony, four. Cut one more goes, make it five. Has the one, three, and the nine behind the three pin. Piece of wood. Off to the left corner is the four and the seven. Just a couple of marks here in the half. And that way off to the right. Just a bit outside. Try to clean this up somehow. And a seven again. Seven last two the last three boxes, 91 through eight. So slowing down here in the second. Just 24 in the last three after a 67 half. Strike seven, spare seven, spare five in the first half. 89 in the first, 78 in the second. It's down 56 coming in. Lost the first by three. Three in that first ball. Goes left. One, three, five, and seven. And a six. This is like the second string now in the second half. 97 to 9. Great match tomorrow night. Four great bowlers on Kill and Bowling Network Live from Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. 8 p.m. Three time champions, defending champions, Eric Alley Sr. and Dean Sullivan take on former three time champions, Rob Brown and Mark 519 Richie. On Kill and Bowling Network, subscribe to me on YouTube to Kill and Bowling Network. Again, that's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Two great bowlers. High performing bowlers, plus Rob Brown and Eric Kelly Sr., Dean Sullivan, Mark Ritchie, a great matchup for bragging rights at Riverwalk. Anthony 247 and the six to the right. Nice try. Won't go. An open second half. We looked like a very promising string has fizzled out. Uh, pretty sharp for a 10. 107, third string. Nice bounce back in the 78. He's at 274 through three. Casey McCool, 44 half. And a 131 in that second after a 92 first string without a mark. He'll probably need at least two marks to win the string and take the first six. Goes left, has the one, eight, and the six, ten to the right. KC with five marks in that second string. A strike, I'm sorry, a spare nine, spare seven, spare seven, spare seven, spare nine. Beautiful try, almost. What a bid that was. That would have been something. Six pin left up. A couple of the seven box, it's a nine. 53 through six in the third of five. From Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. 
We'll be live streaming Candle Fits for Cancer this Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday next week. Right here from Manchester at 11 o'clock, Tuesday and Thursday, the 6th and 8th, on the 11th. But it's, oh, that's a nice ball for a strike, 9. King pin left up, that's the 5 pin. Almost had his first strike of the match. Anthony has one. For a spare, no. That's good news for Anthony Karen, who lost the first two strings. Casey won the first 92-89. He won the second 131-78. to All grand special. Missed the second, make the third. 63 through 7. Anthony's up 21 to string, down 35 in the match. Casey gained some pins back here against the 7, 6, and 10. And he has the 1, 2, and the 7. Missed that pin. 101 average overall, not just 97 last season. High single of 165, high triple of 400, high five of 658, high 10 of 1215. From Derry, New Hampshire, it's 9. 72 through 8. Down 19 in the string, up 37 in the match. He's made a spread eagle before in the past without wood. His favorite food is Chinese food. And he has five in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one, three, six, and it's the four pin to the left, the five beyond the head pin. One piece of wood to the right. Two more strings to go after this. Beautiful shot, it won't carry. That's the five and then six. And it's nine, 81 through nine. So no marks like the first string so far. You had 92 in that first, got a mark. Five marks in the second. Anthony's up by 16 in the string. Casey's up 30. A case of 40 in the match right now. 40. Casey gets a 10 box hit. He's waiting for his ball to come back. His favorite singer is Sting from the police. And his favorite song is Fields of Gold. No lemon drops so far tonight. All lemon drops are $1 for Candlepins for Cancer. So we're asking bowlers to contribute to Candlepins for Cancer. Any lemon drop, the four or the six pin on your first shot. It's only $1. An open string for Casey. Funny game, isn't it? 92, 131, now looking for 90. And he doesn't, he gets an 89. So Anthony chops up 18 out the deficit, wins the string 107 to 89. Casey leads 312 to 274. 38 pin lead. 28 pins. Two strings to go from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Paul Green with you live. Thank you for watching this great game at Killing for Bowl. And this is the season debut. For these two balls in the C division for the first time. <laughs> Anthony gets his first two points. So Casey leads four points to two. It's two for a win, one for a tie, four for total. And that's the recap of the first three strings. Show it again in just a moment. Had a great start last half. He had a 67 half in there for the 107, just a 40 second half. Disappointing first two strings, 78 in the middle. A nice bounce back there in the third. Casey going Jekyll Hyde here. Will he steal it? Not quite. Five pin left up. Anthony with a nine to start the fourth string. I call Anthony 155 lanes. He's been 155 in bowling alleys. And there's a Clary, second box, fourth string. 
51 year old is down 38 coming here. Was 56 after two, lost the first by three. Just missed that pen. Check it again. All right. Nice out. Nine. 18 through two in the fourth of five for Manchester. 11 o'clock this Saturday, Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Bruno DeFeo takes on Dan Chenard. Two outstanding bowlers Saturday, 11 a.m. on Facebook. And then again, up on Singles Toy Page and shared to Canelope Bowling Network, 11 a.m. this Saturday. Bruno DeFeo and Dan Chenard. Dan Chenard's team just won the Tuesday Night Academy Speed League. Tuesday Night Speed League. $15 for his team with Eric Sargent. And Mike Harrington with 24 marks, 22 spares, two strikes, and that's 633 performance of a Brian Fuller's junior team. So congratulations to them. We'll see him Saturday at 11 a.m. It's Bruno DeFeo. Anthony punched up the middle. He's going to get some, need some marks here. Trip play. Big four points for total. Field goal, 8, 26 through 3. Anthony from Manchester, New Hampshire, his whole life. Just averaged 99 last season. Overall high singles, 195, high triple, 442, high 5, 696. It's 4 there. High 10 is 1306, high 20 of 2271. This is 2.7 pound bowling balls. Just missed that pin. He's up the one and the nine. It's been very ins inconsistent today. The first half of that third string was, it was incredible. Strike seven, spare seven, spare five, 67 half, and it's nothing else. Pretty much right, underwhelming. 10. 36 through 4. Through 4. In the fifth, fourth string. And he was very good in his day. 25, like I said earlier, 25 400 games, 16 triple strikes. On amateur tours. Look at the palace. And there's the word discount to 5 and 10. Enjoys baseball when he's not bowling. Well, made 12 appearances on King of the Palace and won two ladder series, one in 2015, one in 2017. Oh, just missed it. Open half. Casey McCool trying to get 12 out of 14 points. Won the first, 92.89. Won the second, convincingly, 131.78. Dropped the third, 107.89. Nine for Anthony Karen. Decent pinning of 45 half, but that won't get it done. We down 38 in the match. Casey McCool. Didn't like the odd strings. The even string was his best string of 131. Start to the fourth string here. Manchester. Second string is phenomenal. Starts off the fourth with the one, three, and the eight with a piece of wood from the eight pin and a piece of wood to the right. His mother here in attendance tonight. And that won't go. That's the one and three. Working on trying to slow down his arm speed. He gets a 10 to start. Up one this string. 39 in the match. It was red hot this summer. He had a 106 average. He only averaged a 101 normally. But last year, just 97. So a big nine pin jump in the summer league. Nice ball. He's got the world discount to 5 and 10. Back when things were actually 5 cents and 10 cents. The Derek Hampshire native for a spare. Oh, what a try. This is Division 4 matchup. Week 1 of 18. 10. Two tens, 20 through 2. Up 2 in the string. The lead is 40 in the match. We 
Casey and Tony Lovec in four bowls on Sunday, 4 p.m. in Academy Lanes, April Mass. <laughs> Doubleheader on Labor Day. Featuring Dean Sullivan, Matt Susie, Benny Champ, Joey Lister, and Nick Beach. Case is open, has the three pin. Got the conference for cancer start next Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday and Sunday. And the women's double event, December 10th. All in Kenneth and Bowling Network, the uh, conference for cancer and the women's double event. All in Kenneth and Bowling Network. Three tens to start the fourth, 30 through three of four in the straight, 42 in the match. Casey avoids the lemon drop, gets two. You know, asking all bowlers to donate one dollar voluntarily, not a mandate, to Canopins for Cancer for the four or the six for the middle shot. Lemon drop, middle shot there. That's the three, six, ten, and the two to the left. One dollar to Canopins for Cancer.com. All lemon drops. Casey, three ten sweep is over, gets a seven, thirty seven through four, up one in the string, thirty nine in the match. We get to 45 half. No marks in the first, no marks in the third, five spares in the second. And a strike! Spoke too soon. 47 plus two, halfway through the fourth string. Pumps his fist. That's his first strike of the match. Anthony had one earlier. He has a two pin lead in the string, 40 in the match, plus two bonus balls as Anthony switches over to lane 16 here. Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Bob Room you Live, ACST Season 1, C Division. Division 4 matchup. Anthony, Karen, Casey, and McCool. Right. Up to the right as the one, two, and the four. So again, the fourth string. Anthony needs some work to do here. He picked it up. It's for a ten, fifty-five through five, six. Thank you, Steve and Mum, for watching, supporting Canopin Bowling. And if you want to donate to Canopins for Cancer, it's Canopins number four, cancer.com. Canopins number four, cancer.com. You can't bowl in the raw this week. Here's a chance for a spare, the three, six, and ten. Looking for his first mark here on the fourth. Spare off the wall, got it. Didn't go originally. He'll take it. 65 and the ball through seven. First mark of the string. On the bonus has the Clary. Five fills, 70 through seven, even up here in the fourth. Just five spares and one strike so far in the match. Nice ball, just missed by a speck. Right now it's down 40 in the match, but Casey's on a strike when he goes up next. 10, 80 through 8 in the fourth of five. Again, this Tuesday and Thursday, September 6th and 8th, 11 a.m., the Kennel Fence for Cancer qualifying rounds. And Saturday and Sunday, the 10th and 11th, 11 and 2, six years available. Register at Kennel Fence of 4Cancer.com. Kennel Fence of 4Cancer.com, $80 entry fee. Live TV show, top five. On Kenneth Bowl Network on Sunday, September 25th at Bullerama, Western New Hampshire. One, two, four, leaf for Anthony Karen. Ninth box, fourth string. If you can't bowl, please donate to Kenneth number four, cancer.com. That's Kenneth number four, cancer.com. 
up to a $2,000 first place prize based on applicable number of entry entries. Karen can't convert. She can give a mark here in the 10th box to have a chance to win the string and tie up the points. Nine, 89 through 9. He could have won that first string, but he has split three in the ninth and a three box. And an 89. And Casey with no marks got a 92. And Casey took it to him in the chin. That second string, 131, 78. Anthony, the nice third string, 1079. But down here on the fourth. We won. That's a nice shot. That's the five, seven, and eight. Eight in the middle. She can use that wood somehow. It won't be easy. We're looking for a second mark of the string. It's quiet now. All the leagues are done here right now. Only show in town. Oh, what a try! Split the uprights. Wouldn't carry to the seven. Good bid. Sub century string. And 99 fourth string from Anthony Karen. The treasurer of the C division. She has 373 through four. And Casey McCool can take six points to two lead. He has a 47 out working on a strike here on lane 16. Against 99 string. So he won't need a mark necessarily to win. Over double! Look out! Bang! Double strike! Wow! His first two strikes to the match back to back. And that's without a wow shirt. Wow. Wow shirts are $25. $10 goes to Candle for Cancer. High quality shirt is pretty shrunk. Give myself a Frank Luke enough. If you want one, it's a certain color and size. We have black here in stock. All the matches we cover. Casey three in that first strike ball. Take a two. And chucked out the head pin. Yikes. Wow. Couldn't see it from here. So five, Phil. Got four in that first ball. One in the second. 24 in the first box. 15 in the second box. And a seven. So he goes from 37 through four to 61 half. 76 through six. 83 through seven. Need 17 the next three to take two more points and go up to 6 2. Half was left, the two and the eight. A double strike, the difference here in the string. He has the one, seven, nine, and ten. Good luck with this one. The high low jack plus. Chop out two, eight, 91 through eight. Up 11 in the string, 49 in the match. One more string to go after this. Needs nine pins in two boxes. He grabs five in that first one. It's the one, two, seven, nine, and 10, one piece of wood. Yeah, what side of that is left and right? Try to grab, grab a bunch here. This dead pin is the one, seven, and nine. One to tie the string, two more to win with a box to go. He'll go up six to two. And he gets an eight. We're tied with one box to go. Box gets up ten to the string. And make that a nine. He gets the nine on the bounce back, so he actually wins the string. And that came down last minute. So he actually has won the string of the box to go. Overall, a 40 minute match. That's the one, two, and four. So a ball above is 101 average. Overall average, league average, and 97 last season. 312 coming in through three. Another good string. 10, 110 string. Takes it 110 to 99. And 
that gives him 432 to 373. He's up 49 with one string to go. The Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour. Debut C Division, Week 1. Paul Grant, you live from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. And Anthony's going to need to have a huge string to take total and get four points and two for the string and take eight somehow. He's got a tall task ahead of him. Case is going really well tonight. 108 average. For a first timer? Nice ball for a strike. That looked good. Eight has the five and the nine. Without wood, they go about 51% for pro balls. Mid to upper 30s for semi pro. Needs to strip, string a bunch of marks together to have any chance. For a spare. Yes! Oh, okay. To start the fifth. Don't count him out yet. <laughs> And correction is 422. I said 430. It's 422 for our case and cool by mistake. I mean, you go to basic math, nothing else. Certainly not algebra. But it is 49. It's 422 to 373. Anthony on the bonus. Looks good. Nine. Ten pin left up. 19 after one here in the final string of the match. He's down six points to two and down 49 coming in. He is terrific. And the last, in the third string, got a 67 and a half, three marks. And he missed it way off. Anthony wasn't there. Nine, 28 through two. So he wants to at least take the string and salvage four points out of 14. He needs to win by 50 to take eight points. And the tie would be one point for a string and two, tie, two points for a tie in the total. And he gets a bundle of five plus the 10 pin. So again, two points for a win, one for a tie for a string. The total is four points, so they tie the total, it's two points each. In the playoffs, it'd be a one-string roll-off. We had one of those last season, the semi-pro division last year, which is now the B division. Jordan Britton, Danny Finn. I was like, oh, good try there. Danny Finn, Jordan Britton. That was a great match. You can watch it on Kenneth Bowl Network. Thrilling match. Unbelievable match. The playoffs were outstanding last year. Most of the matches were close. Some great battles. All those are on Kenneth Bowl Network. Most of them. Anthony Cameron, 9, 37 through 3. So he wants to win the string, he's got to get probably six, seven marks in the string minimum. Eighty-nine in the first, lost by three, lost the second, one thirty-one seventy-eight. Won the third, ninety-nine eighty-nine. Lost the fourth, one ten ninety-nine. Drills nine. Looking good here in the string. He really needs this mark. That's the six pin. We'll go on. Upper 50s to low 60s for semi pro bowlers. Up to 72% for pro bowlers. That would. This guy's provided by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Oh. Needs it. Missed it. Two single pins. Let's crush the spirit. Nine again. 46 to 4. Here's a recap of the first four strings. For the most part, it's been all Casey and Cool. He's been cool, calm, and collected, despite those low scores. 92 without a mark. Great pinning, 89 without a mark. Anthony, nice ball, right down the middle. That's the left side triangle, the 4, 7, 8. To the right is the 3, 6, and 10. We'll talk to the bowlers after the match is open before we sign off. And that got away, just one. 
Four, seven, eight. Right side is the three and the six. So a strong stop with two missed single pins for spares. Could have gone in the 70s. Could have ended up in the mid 50s. If, if that. Just six, just 52 half. So Casey McCool in good shape to take 12 points, at least 10. He's up against a 46, uh, 52 half rather from Anthony Karen. And a reminder, this Tuesday and Thursday, 11 a.m. is the season two first qualifying rounds right here at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Candle pins for cans are Tuesday and Thursday, September 6th and 8th, 11 a.m., Saturday and Sunday. Just a moment. Parallel pins plus to nine. It's Tuesday and Thursday, 11 o'clock here. Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Register at Candle Pins, number 4, Canson.com. That's Candle Pins, number 4, Canson.com. If you can't bowl, please donate. Candle Pins 4, Canson.com. Casey's open. And there's no limits. You can enter as many times as you want. $80 each entry for each ship. Nice out for nine. The live TV show at the top five bowlers that will be featured on at Bowl of Armor in Portsmouth, New Hampshire on Candle Pins Bowling Network. September 25th on a Sunday. Casey, spread eagle. Oh, he's happen? made the shot before in the past with that wood. He's down 10 in the string. He's up 39 in the match. Up to a $2,000 first place prize based on number of entries for Candle Prince for Cancer Championship matches. All live on Candle Bowling Network this season. Flip wing eagle. Anthony needs to mark out to have a chance, more than likely. He might get a double. Casey had a double strike. And that last string, there's only two marks. And that 110 string. Also, 410 boxes of that. And just a six that time, 15 through two. Anthony's up 28 to 15, leads is down to 36 in the match. Anthony very capable of throwing a big half. AC4 that time, bundle of six. JC loves the Indiana Jones movie series. He's up to five. And he likes the TV show MASH. Played golf, baseball, and basketball growing up. Enjoys to watching soccer, UFC, and hockey and football. And nine. 24 through 3. It means a 36 pin lead in the match. His big fans of bowling Jeff Surrett and Hall of Fame of Paul 500 Burger. Oh, what a strike! What a shot that was! Had a double strike last string, his third strike of the match. 34 plus 2. What a bomb that was! That was better than a cannon for cash strike. So they won twelve hundred twenty dollars. Well, I got half the pit pal got half. I got six hundred ten dollars. Too much on alley, on alley chat, can open chat. Nineteen eighty. When I was a somebody. Not bad for not bowling for six months before that strike. Six month layoff. Two practice boxes before the show. Right in the pocket. Still think it was a dream. Second ball on the strike. Got the three, leads it to four. 43 through 4. Takes a one pin lead with a 10, 53 52. Halfway to go through the final string. He's up 50 in the match. Anthony needs the half of his life to take total. We'd like to at least take two points and salvage four at a minimum. Following with you live from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Home of next week's Candle Pins for Cancer Roll Off. Sign Tuesday or Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Again, Candlepins number four, cancer.com to register. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Beautiful shot there, has a check mark. Five to the right, two, four, seven to the left. Piece of wood to the right. Needs to mark out at a chance. At total. I'm sure if you can get four points, he'll be relieved. And he won't get this one. He's at the two and the five.
Eight, 60 through six in the final string. Congratulations to 16 year old Stephen Ashey from All Play in Belfast, Maine. He's a 108 league bull at age 16. His first joined the ACST last moment. They only have 15 teams, 16 teams in the North. First match yesterday. You can watch it on the uh, Kenilton chat or Atlanta Kenilton single page. To a double strike, his first two balls in the match. Double strike, 152 first string. Stephen Ashey, A S H E Y. Watch out for Peyton Dyer, 14 year old, also out of All Plan Belfast. Great young woman bowler. 101 average at age 14. Anthony has the two and the four. He needs to mark out. He has a double strike at least. And he gets this one to go. 70 ball through seven. Anthony, 89 and 78, 107 and 99. Not a typical Anthony Karen Day. Showed flashes of his old self. In that third string, that first half, 67 half. But other than that, it's been a grind. On the spare fill. Nice ball for strike. Let go. Almost. Nine, 79 through seven. Try to take the fifth string for two points and go four and ten. Just need a double here at least to have a chance of total. He's missing two single pins early in this game also. And again, a wood hurt, a high piece of wood, tough piece of wood. Three nine drops, no spares. Nine, eighty-eight through eight. Casey McCool looking good for total. Pretty much guaranteeing himself ten points. It's a question of ten points or twelve points. Anthony takes his time, delivers, and pan for strike nine again. And he luckily had four or five strikes in the string. Could really use this to win the string. And this time he gets it. 98 in the ball through nine. Seven spares and one strike in the match. And it's not going to get you a lot of points. If you can get four, that'd be something. Considering how we played. That's we have to reset every game. Clary, five in the fill, 103 through nine. His biggest string is 107 in the third. Got that beat already here on the fifth. And a nice try. Won't go. Too bad. That's just the seven pin left up. So a sub 500. So we can bounce back in the second match. Whoa. Slips. It's a 10. 113. His fifth string. A disappointing 486 for Anthony Karen. Casey McCool he has some work to do to win the string and take 12. He's got the total pretty much the total wrapped up. It's three to start. Here's a recap of all the scores box by box. We'll if I get that in the camera here, boy. Let me show a couple here, a couple afterwards. Watch out in the middle. So I guess the first few strings here. Seven box. I'm going to try to show box by box here for you. I missed that earlier. I'm going to show the second half in a moment. The last couple of strings. All casing the pool for the most part. And at 131, 
There's a dagger, 78. Is it 60? 60. Here's the 3610. So Casey needs 53 in four boxes to take 12. If not, you take four, 14. And that won't go. And Casey going really well, like I said in the summer, he averaged a 106, nine pins higher than last season's 97 average. 10, 70 through 7. So now he needs 43 and 44 to win it in three boxes. He had 44 in his first three boxes, his second string on that five mark, 131 string. Double strike in that fourth string. He has a strike here on the fifth. It's three in that first ball. He had three seven fills and two nine fills, and that was five marks in the third string, that 131 string. This won't quite go. Good bid. He needs double strike to win the string. Otherwise, it'll be 10 to 4. He'll still win 10 out of 14. In week one of 18, it's Anthony that moves that wood. So, a reminder tomorrow night, the Riverwalk Lanes mini money match, 8 p.m. on Caleb Bowling Network. The current three time champions, Eric Halley Sr. and Dean Sullivan, another outstanding veteran bowler, take on the former three time champions, Rob Brown and Mark. High triple. 519 Richie. Subscribe free on YouTube to Kenneth from Bowling Network. That's Kenneth from Bowling Network. It's free on YouTube. Casey capped it and got it to go for a 10, 80 through 8. It's down 8 in the string. Up against a spare 5 and a 10. So he needs 43, 44 in two boxes to win 12 points. We'll put the case before we sign off. Oh, a strike! What a shot that was! The second strike of the string. Four in the last two strings. Another bomb shell. 90 plus needs another one to win the string. Clean up on aisle 16. Two strikes and no spares in the last string. Two strikes, no spares here in the fifth. How can you see that? He's only had five spares all in the second string. No spares the other strings. No double. So Anthony Karen survives and takes four out of 14. And I'm sure the way he bowled, he'll take four. Could have had that first string, but got away from that three box in the tenth. Six in the strike, 96 through nine. Final box of the first week of the first season of the C division. Division four matchup. KC, a 9-105, fifth string. So Anthony hangs on, wins it 113-105. to Casey McCool, a 527, almost a summer league average of 106, just a little bit under. Anthony Karen, 486. So 527 to 486. 41 pin victory. So Casey, we're going to talk to Casey in just a moment before we sign off. Let's put these scores up on the screen first. Yeah, oh, come on, Anthony. You did perfect. You just had a couple up. And, and Anthony can talk to us if he wants to. Sometimes bowlers don't want to talk and they lose. I get, I get it. <laughs> but I know, I know that Anthony's a class act, so we'll see if we can get the talk. And he's also a class clown, too. Yeah. Uh, let's just talk to the bowlers. Let me just zoom out here a little bit here. And we're going to talk to the bowlers before we sign off. Oh, boy. We'll talk to Anthony first. Okay, just check that view there, Casey, please. Yeah, sure. Anthony, I know it wasn't your day. Let me get the microphone around here. Let's get the microphone here going. Anthony, not the way you wanted to start the season, I know. But you know what? I'll say for four points, I think you're probably feeling relieved that you took four. Take it over here. 
taking four points. I'm sure you're relieved a little bit there. As much as I struggled today, okay. I'm thrilled that I got four points. Yeah. I mean, it was absolutely terrible at the beginning. I kept making adjustment after adjustment after adjustment. Finally, near the end, I started throwing a little bit better of a ball, but just wasn't my day. That was my when I bowled before the injury. I, I would start moving my feet, moving like a, a step to the left, a step to the right, and I'd start, you know, overpressing, overthinking, and you start going. When you do that, when you start adjusting too much, is that is that throw you off? Uh, adjustments don't always work, but sometimes they do, and you can't keep doing something that's not working. So sometimes, I mean, you just gotta keep making adjustments and hope something works, but it doesn't always. All right. Well, good luck on week two, and good luck. You still have 17 weeks to go, so good luck the rest of the way. Right. Let's hope it's, let's hope it's better than this right. one. <laughs> now, when are you going to go to visit? Have you, been, have you been to Flatbread Pizza in Salem yet? I have. Uh, 2019. Okay. I bowled there. Okay. And you, you got to go to that one in New York now, right? New York City, that bowling alley, right? There's a new one in New York City. Have you gone to that one yet? There's no camping lanes in New York City. Uh, someplace in New Someone York. Someone told me there was one out by the Finger Lakes yeah. at one well, lane we'll of camping. All right. That's your next venture, right? Well, maybe. We'll see. All right. All right, good luck the rest of the way, Anthony. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's bring in Casey McCool, who won tonight. Took 10 of 14 points. Anthony Class Act in defeat. Yeah. Over here, Casey. Um, congratulations, you win. You, you know, you had a strange night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no mark, no spares in the first. Yeah. No spares in the third. No spares in the fourth. No spares in the fifth. Five spares in the second. Yeah. Double strike <laughs> in the fourth. Two strikes in the fifth. Yeah. A novelty. And you took 10 of 14. I Your thoughts in the match? I've just never done something like this before. I've never bowled in a travel league, and I'm actually excited to do it. It's fun. And bowling up against Anthony Karen is like one of my famous dreams. You know, I bowl with him in doubles all the time. He's like my good partner, and I've, I'm always glad that we're bowl with him all the time. He's a great bowler, and I respect his uh, abilities and the way he bowls. He's a good bowler. I hope to face him again in the near future. That's classy. And, and, one, and he, I think Anthony thought he was bowling in Whitensville today, huh? Yeah, I guess he thought so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love bowling at Whitensville in spare time. It's a great alley, and I respect Eric. He's a really good guy, too. That 131-78 second was the big difference in the match. Yeah. Can you give me a three-letter word to describe winning wow. your first <laughs> ACST match? Wow. <laughs> okay. So Case McCool takes 10 of 14 of Anthony Karen, Week 1, C Division, from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, Paul Grant's in. So long for now. We'll see you tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Mark Ritchie, Rob Brown versus Dean Sullivan, Eric Halley Sr. from Riverwalk Lanes, 8 p.m. on Camelton Bowling Network. So long for now. Thank you. That was good, Paul. Thank you. Well, uh, you will be going to get a match from the week. I know. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to get